Hello friends, welcome to Expert Medical Coding. In today's video, we are going to learn about ICU-10 CM updates 2023 third quarter part two. We are going to cover in this video two new updates: pancytopenia due to radium-223 treatment and non-traumatic subcapsular renal hematoma. Let us begin with the first one: pancytopenia due to radium-223 treatment. The question is: a patient with prostate cancer and bone metastasis was admitted due to multiple medical conditions. So the patient is having prostate cancer and it was metastasized to the bone and the patient is also having multiple medical conditions. Okay, so during the admission, the provider documented that the patient had worsening pancytopenia related to radium-223 treatment. So the patient has documented as pancytopenia which is related to radium-223 treatment. So the radium-223 is a drug, it's a therapeutic drug, it's not a diagnostic one. So if you'll go to the drugs and chemicals table and if you'll search for radioactive drugs, you'll get a code for adverse effect as T508X5. So the description of this code is adverse effects of diagnostic agents. So the question is, however, Radium-223 was administered as a therapeutic treatment for metastatic prostate cancer and is not considered a diagnostic agent. What are the appropriate code assignments for pancytopenia due to radium-223 treatments? The answer is, we have to assign two codes. The first code is D61811, other drug-induced pancytopenia, followed by the code of adverse effect of radium-223 that is T50995A adverse effects of other drugs, medicaments and biological substances initial encounter for pancytopenia due to radium-223 treatments. So we will get two codes. First code is D61811 and the next code is T50995A. Let us see it in the index. Go to the index and search for pancytopenia as a main term. In that subterm, you will get drug induced NEC that is not elsewhere classifiable. You will get it will lead you to the code of D61811. If you go to the tabler and search for the description, you will get the code description as other drug induced pancytopenia. So, this is the one code we are going to get for drug induced pancytopenia. And the next code leading is go to the table of drugs and chemicals and search for drug NEC under that subterm specified NEC not elsewhere classifiable it will lead you to the code of T50995A go to the tabular and search for the description you will get a code of T50995A and the description of it is adverse effects of other drugs medicaments and biological substances so this is a, another code along with the first code two codes will be given for this scenario so the code T50995A is the appropriate code assignment for an adverse effect of a drug or medicament that is not specifically classified in IC10 CM. These code assignments can be referenced in the table of drugs and chemicals under drug NEC, specified NEC, or medicament NEC. Although adverse effects of radioactive drugs are classified to subcategory T508X5, a code from this subcategory is not appropriate. Since radium-223 is not a diagnostic agent, it is used to treat the cancer. Now let us move to the next scenario, non-traumatic subcapsular renal hematoma. Let us see the scenario. The patient presented to the emergency department with left flank pain, leukocytosis, acute kidney injury and elevated lactate. A CT scan was performed, showed a posterior left renal subcapsular hematoma and the patient was admitted to urology for treatment of this condition. The patient denied any recent trauma or injury. So question is what is the correct code assignment for a non-traumatic posterior subcapsular renal hematoma? Would it be appropriate to assign a separate code for AKI or is AKI inherent to the subcapsular renal hematoma? So the answer for this scenario is no, AKI is not inherent to non-traumatic subcapsular hematoma. So we have to assign both the codes. One code for the 
non traumatic subcapsular hematoma that is N2889, and another code for the acute kidney failure N179. So, bo both codes should be assigned. The AKI and subcapsular renal hematoma are unique conditions that should be separately coded. Sequencing of these conditions would depend upon the circumstances of the admission. Please like, share and subscribe to Expert Medical Coding. Thanks for watching.